We got a new check engine light after uh, several days of driving it in different condition and uh, the new code is P2601 which I suspect is the coolant heater storage pump because I don't hear it like running uh, when for example if I leave the car overnight if I leave the car overnight and then turn it on in the morning I don't see or hear the pump actually like running compared to my other pieces so yep I sus yeah my I'm suspecting that it's actually bad even though I tried putting in a 12 volt power source there and it runs um, I think it's not like running uh, properly I think it's because the uh, the coolant was black and then it's dry so that probably that coolant I mean the the, the pump there didn't last that long it, it basically got burned probably so I'm gonna turn this off um, there's really no harm on uh, turning off this uh, DTC or this code because it's just for emission purposes that uh, my relay was actually not in here it was placed here but uh, there's supposed to be a relay here for the um, coolant heater storage so that's the reason why it's not working and I have that code for the uh, um, coolant storage heater tank so um, right now since I bleed it like since the pump is working I have no air um, I now have air inside my cooling system so I have to bleed it again so this is my setup for bleeding and to know where the location of the uh, storage pump it's over here and that's over here yep. and there are two terminals here that you need to jump to make it work so in this case I just set the uh, my ammeter into amps and then uh, I'll just uh, jump these uh, two leads in here it's gonna be tough uh, it's gonna be tough doing it with one hand but once I do this the pump will work and then I have no air in now so this is completely bleed and I got like 4.15 that's the current so let it run for a while like 20 seconds maybe then that's it yeah. then you basically have to put back the relay we'll put this uh, So, yep. After fixing the relay, 